All right, let's say um, predict the product. So we have acid chloride, um, water attack, acid substitution, attack that, all right? So this is what I, I uh, expect you guys to do. So once you draw the mechanism often enough, you should be able to visualize the mechanism, like right here, although you don't have to draw it, just uh, predict the product, but you should be able to visualize the mechanism. For example, this is what I want you to be able to visualize. So water can attack, and you get the negative charge uh, break double bond and you get negative charge on the oxygen right and this negative charge will reform the double bond kick out the chlorine and at the end you get water on it of course this deprotonation later on water but yeah that's what you get you should be able to do that all right and look at this all of them do the same way now next one we do alcoholysis of an acid chloride attack same carbon right from negative charge negative charge can fall back down from double bond chlorine leaves what what's a different that's nothing different <laughs> jesus christ so right so this is the same reaction there all right next one acid and hydride do exactly the same thing less reactive right uh but do the same thing as acid chloride and acid bromide uh this one aminolysis so amine attack want to pick one carbon they are the same thing okay from uh, negative charge negative charge fall back down from double bond and kick out the as uh, as uh was it propanoate all right it's a couple of, uh, carboxylate comes out that's a living group right so you get a nitrogen and a methyl group on it okay now next one uh phenyl magnesium bromide all right so these are strong reagents can do twice right first first attack well of course you get negative charge there fall back down free from double bond you're gonna get a ketone phenyl on it right so the um what's a benzoate coming out right and uh, you get phenyl on it so you get ketone ketone can react with the Grignard reagent, basically you do it twice. So you should get two uh, phenyl ring on it, look like that, all right? This phenyl ring here, stay right here. Doesn't change anything, okay? And you get tertiary alcohol here. Uh, next one, so lithium, uh, excess lithium aluminum hydride. Um, this one is a strong reducing agent, all right? Hydride will attack uh, twice on the carbonyl carbon, do twice. First time you get aldehyde, second time you get alcohol. Same reaction, same reaction mechanism. Last one, oh, let's say we have acidic anhydride to get an aldehyde. So reduce to aldehyde. Well, stop at aldehyde. Well, it's going to be a hydride redu reducing agent, but weaker than lithium aluminum hydride. Okay, otherwise you're going to get an alcohol right away. Uh, so weaker, weaker than lithium aluminum hydride. Well, we have that one, the long one. Lithium, was it aluminum uh, tri -tert butoxy hydride? Here we go. And then don't forget to work up at the end. All right. all right i hope this helped now right. so remember so you have to be familiar with all this mechanism you should be able to visualize the mechanism as uh you predict the product okay all right let's move on to the next video